Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with elimination. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, negative 6x minus 2y minus z equals a negative 17, 5x plus y minus 6z equals 19, negative 4x minus 6y minus 6z equals a negative 20, and we want to solve this by elimination. Well, what can we do? We want to find a way we can cancel out a variable. And if I take the second equation and multiply it by 2, we'll have 2y here, and then negative 2y in the first equation, and 2y here will cancel. So let's rewrite the first equation, negative 6x minus 2y minus z equals negative 17. The second equation here, I'm going to multiply that by 2. What do we get? 2 times 5x is a 10x. 2 times y is, well, a 2y. 2 times negative 6z is a negative 12z. And 2 times 19 is a 38. I now can add these two equations and see what happens. Negative 6x plus 10x is a 4x. Negative 2y plus a 2y eliminates, and that's just a 0y. Negative z plus a negative 12 is a negative 13z. And negative 17 plus 38 is a positive 21. All right, what else can we do? Or what else can we do? If we take the, well, hmm, if we take this equation, or the first, what am I doing here? Make sure I have my, my right steps here. If I want to eliminate the y's here. Okay, perfect. We have a six, negative 6y six here, and we have a negative 2y here. If I take this top equation and multiply it by a 3, we would have a negative 6y up there, and that will help me eliminate that. So let's put that down here. Negative 3, I'm sorry, 3 times negative 6 is a negative 18x. 3 times minus 2y is a minus 6y, and 3 times a minus 7 is a minus 3z. 3 times a negative 17 is a negative 51. Then we take the last equation and we're put it down here below it. We have a minus 4x minus 6y minus 6z equals a negative 20. I now can subtract, that's a 20, these two equations and we'll eliminate that 6y. Negative 18x minus negative 4x is like adding a 4x. We have a negative 14x here. Negative 6y minus negative 6y is like adding a 6y. Cancel the 6y's out. Negative 3z minus a negative 6z is like adding a 6z, and we have 3z here left over. And then we have negative 51 minus a negative 20 is like adding a 20. It's a negative 31. All right, so now we have this equation that has x and z, and this equation has x and z. And we need to adapt them to find a way we can eliminate a variable. Well, I can see here if I take 14 times 2, I get 28, and 4 times 7, I get 28, and we can eliminate stuff there. So I'm going to take this equation here, multiply it by 2, and I'm left with a negative 28x plus a 6z equals a negative 62. And then multiply 2 is to all parts. This one here, I'm going to multiply it by a 7, and I'll put it down here. I multiply the whole thing by a 7. And 4 times 7 is a 28x. 7 times 13 is a 91, so we have negative 91z here. And that's equal to 7 times 21, which is a 147. I now can add these two equations together, and the x's eliminate. Negative 28x plus 28x is 0. 6z minus, or plus a negative 91z, is a negative 85 z. Negative 62 plus 147 is an 85. Divide both sides by negative 85 and z equals a negative 1. So we have z equals negative 1 here. All right. Well, what can I do now? I want to somehow get other variables. Well, if we take this equation right here and put z equals negative 1 in for the z value, drop the cap. Oh, well. Negative 1 in for the z, I have x by itself. So we have 4 times x <laughs> minus 13 times z, which is negative 1, 
equals a positive 21. 4x comes out, negative 13 times a negative 1 is a positive 13, equals 21. Subtract 13 to both sides, and we have 4x on the left, and on the right, 21 minus 13 is an 8. Divide both sides by 4, and x equals a positive 2. So now we have our z value, our x value, let's find our y value. We can pick any equation we want and plug these values in and solve for y. Find one that you might think it's easy or how you're going to work with it, and let's just go with the last one here. So we can pick this one here. We have a negative 4, and instead of x, I put a 2. Then we have minus 6y, minus 6, and then times z, which is negative 1, and it's equal to negative 20. Let's simplify this out. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, minus 6y, and then negative 6 times negative 1 is a positive 6, equals a negative 20. Negative 8 plus 6 is a negative 2, so we have negative 6y minus 2 equals negative 20. Add a 2 to both sides. Negative 6y equals a negative 18. Divide both sides by negative 6, and y is by itself, and it's equal to, well, a positive 3. We can write this as a coordinate point. x first is 2, y is 3, and z is negative 1. And so that's it. Our final answer here is x equals 2, y equals 3, and z equals a negative 1. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.